Welcome back, everybody, to 70s of Dying Alpha 21. This is the Apocalypse Ranger series, and I'm an old guy gaming. And in this episode, we are going to go do our next tier four fetch and clear at Fort Bags. Um, uh, before we get started, though, we have a point to spin. So we're focusing focusing on intellect uh, right at the moment. Focusing, focusing, focusing. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. Um, and specifically Grease Monkey. But in order to get the next point in Grease Monkey, we need intellect level six. We have intellect level five effectively. Now we have an effective six for our next point, which is we almost have. We're going to put in the Grease Monkey. Now, a couple things about this. Um, I'm focusing on Grease Monkey specifically so that we can start getting more vehicle magazines so that I can finally start making my own gas. Um, that cool little montage that I showed you guys at the beginning of this episode, um, the majority of that time was actually spent wrenching cars and getting gasoline for the cruiser uh, with some loading and stuff in between. Um, but of course, I didn't want to show uh, a whole montage of me just wrenching cars, so... I, I kind of I, I basically kept that part out, but I spent the entire in-game day yesterday um, in the wasteland wrenching cars like crazy to get you know gasoline. Um, all right, so let's see, what are you doing? Oh, you're making food. Okay. Um, I think we have enough stuff to make a tuna fish gravy toast. Let's see, what do we need for that? Tuna fish gravy toast. We'll track that. All right, so we need a can of tuna. We need. A cornmeal, we need two fats, uh, peas, and this other cornbread. There we go. It's good stuff, man. So almost three minutes, 2.30, yeah, okay. Oh, uh, and, oh, I keep forgetting. I don't have to, I don't actually have to put wood in here. You just have to put one piece of wood in here and then it just runs perpetually. Um, okay, so we got we got ourselves a sham chowder. We still have six bacon and eggs, so we're in good shape there. I'm going to start carrying eye candy with me uh, for tier four quests and higher because, you know, we have a much better chance for loot. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to tell you. I did put uh, the two two more um, water thingies, uh, dew collectors down there, uh, which we purchased uh, from the trader and... I think that's pretty much it to update you guys on. Uh, all right, so uh, the cruiser is full of gas, but I used up almost every bit of, I don't know, the over 2,000 and some odd gas that we collected from wrenching just to fill this thing up. So it's full of gas, but there's, I don't think I have any extra. Yeah, there's no extra gas in here. Um, I also... Oh, Maybe this this must not persist uh, because last uh, I set this to to lock these seven slots in and then I had to log out for a while, um and it's reset so maybe that doesn't persist I don't know. Oh, what we got going on here? Oh, you're just melting down some some clay right now and making some cement for us. You're making nine mills and some more pipe bombs. Um, I do have twenty pipe bombs with me though, or well, nineteen, close enough. All right, I think, I think for the Horde Knight, we are going to, um, we're going the, wait, where are we going? That way. Uh, for the Horde Knight, I think we're going to try our base again. I'm going to reinforce it even more than we did last time, uh, just because I don't really have a, n a new solution right now. Now, that being said, I am working on a plan for um, a future horde base, but I'm still kind of I'm still kind of thinking through how I want it to go uh, and where I want it to be. So I'm not going to say anything about that right now until I can flesh it out a little bit more. But just know that um, I do have plans for a, a much larger horde base in the near future but at least for 35 uh, I'm gonna try you know our current one again and you know hopefully <laughs> hopefully we'll survive it um, so we'll you know we'll work on that on horde day horde night day and get that all fixed up okay so anyway woohoo see we've already used 5% of the gasoline in this thing so 
I'm, I'm almost wondering if maybe I shouldn't be using it until we can manufacture our own gasoline. Just because, man, it uses ga a lot of gas. This is a gas hog. But we'll use it for today anyways. It shouldn't be too much longer for us to, you know, to start being able to make our own gas too, so... This thing doesn't stop on a dime. <laughs> Get out of here. All right. So, um, we got to really be careful of bouncing baddies here. So let's, I'm trying to think if I want to prelude or not. This fort looks... It looks very similar to Fort Camo. Not exactly the same, but very similar. Huh. All right, let's, um, I'm just gonna pre-loot the gas and the, oh shit, this truck right here. All right, you guys are starting to piss me off. Man, look at all those criticals. Jeez Louise. Criticals are just absolutely freaking br brutal in this game. Of course, I should have just pulled this out right from the get-go instead of letting them beat me up so bad. <sighs> all right. <laughs> Damn it, Jim. Uh, let's see, what do we need to do? We need to take a pill for a concussion. We need to take a honey for an infection. Um, I am going to put a point into position. In fact, I'll probably put all, multiple points into position ultimately, but uh, when we, we get the first point in position, we'll be able to cure sprains with splint, splints and casts, but I don't have that yet, so there's not much we can do about it. All right. We're not screwing around that this time. We're, we're just going to keep the MP5 out. If we get rushed again, we're going to town on these bitches. Shit. I hear a lot more zombos. They're all inside of there. Alright, here, let's get this gas here. How many are we talking and are they feral? I see one feral. Okay. Somebody else got blown up out there. Nice. Take the military fiber. Okay, we're going to loot the vehicles. We're going to wrench them for the gasoline, and then we're going to start the quest. So I'm not going to go in and loot stuff inside the buildings. But I just, I need the gasoline, so... I don't know what the hell's going on over there. Probably a burner. Um, does this, does this backhoe thing, it's not lootable, okay. Okay. But we can, I'm pretty sure we can wrench that for gas. Yep, oh, got somebody else's attention. Creepy crawly. All right, let's wrench these three vehicles for gasoline and then we'll start the quest proper. Because my arm's bunged up, it's taking me a little bit longer to wrench, but it is what it is. Okay, let's um, refuel that. And we actually have a little bit of fuel left over. Look at that. We'll put all this stuff in here. I'm going to scrap these. Let me keep those. All right, let's take this sham chowder for the healing as much as the food. 
And um, I'm going to... Yeah, let's keep our luckies on. I mean, our, I'm sorry, our nerdies on. But hopefully... I will... Um, remember to switch those over when we get to the fat loads. And I need to remember to take the eye candy too. So you guys take bets as to whether or not I'll actually remember to do those two things. <laughs> no, no telling with me. Okay, so... Now we're going to be sneaky sneak and do this right. And that's our first victim there, except for we don't have a good solid headshot up on him. Um, we got a decent headshot on Biker Billy. I might have to shoot that guy in the balls, I don't know. Yeah, we're just going to shoot him in the nuts. Oh, that's got to hurt. This bow is so nice, you guys. It is a beast. We got it fully modded too. So we got a cripplum, a rad, a polymer, and a reflex sight on it. And green uh, dye to boot. Okay, we had some Zeeks, I think. Oh shit, this must be a trigger situation. Okay. We're not screwing around this time. You guys beat the tar out of us last time, not this time. There we go. We got that next point. Uh, let's put that right on into uh, Grease Monkey. There we go. Okay, we'll head up here. What is this? This is a clear... Oh, shit. A clear and retrieve. Wait. Up or down? Up. Check this. Well, that's pretty decent. Okay. There's a victim. Say goodnight, crazy. Okay. Take a peek down here. Oh, that door's... Well, it was locked. I, mm, I have a feeling like we're maybe not supposed to go down there yet. So let's... Let's just finish clearing up above first. Probably a burner, but I don't know where the head is. So we'll just shoot the torso. See another red dot right there. Oop. What the hell, man? I keep hitting the body bags, I guess. His head's right there, though. <laughs> I don't get it. Is it... Yeah, that was weird. Well, let's pick up our bolts here. Ooh, there's a uh, medical stuff down there. I don't want to step on those coals because we'll, it'll catch us on fire. And it's a honey. Nice, we got our honey back. You know what? Since there's so much of this, let's just get all of it. As gross as it is. All of this together makes a pretty decent quantity of uh, spoiled meat, bones, plastic. I don't really care about the nitrate because I can mine that, but... Okay. Salute the truck. Okay, we'll take that stuff. I'll wrench these vehicles at the very end 
when we're done with everything else. So right now, if I do it now, it's just gonna clutter up our inventory. Nobody's in there. Okay, let's go inside. Well, no, let's actually go up in the tower first. And yeah, we should also look in the ditch over on this side. Yeah, I see a couple zombies over that way. Kind of a long shot. All right, I think the ditch is clear. Ooh, watch out for landmines. Really? Not going after our arrows because there's a wet a minefield right there. Two red dots. <laughs> Both dead? I believe they are. Guarding the purse. Five lockpicks, nice. And there's another purse. With two lockpicks. Also nice. Okay, let's check the tent, then we'll check that, then we'll go down below. More gas. Can't get a headshot. From that angle, but we can get a headshot on this guy. All right, butt shot. Okay, that takes care of all the red dots in here. Got some gas in here. it for anything I want to loot in here. Now we know we're going to get a nice little collection of baddies in here, but let's see if we can get some sneaky sneaks off on them. Unless it's just triggered, I don't know. That's good. Um, and 
If we use the the wrench or the impact driver on these, we get blood bags. You can get blood bags if you use something else like an axe, but it seems like it seems like it procs more often if you use the, the wrench. What do these give? Stuff. Mechanical parts, okay. All right, we are thirsty. So let's take a red tea. I do have the filter, helmet filter now, so I can drink dirty water, but um, I'd rather not. I'd rather take it back and turn it into clean water so it's more useful to us. Okay, so here, let's eat those right now. I'm going to check the nitrate. I'll keep the bones since we have so many of them. Okay, let's go downstairs. Or actually, no, we need to get our satchel first, which is... Oh, right here. Nice. Let's pop another one of these for get our health all the way back up. Looks like there's a Hawaii 5 there. Oh, that's a lot of red dots. Yowzers. Hmm. That is a lot of red dots. Everybody loaded? <laughs> wow. Any chance we can... I don't know if we can get his head from there or not. Okay, let's just try it. Good. Okay, one down and 500 to go. I mean, I could probably tag Hawaii Five O through the table, but that's not going to kill him, especially if he's feral. There's a couple seeks in here. Shit. Okay, let's just take them out as they come up the stairs. Get out of here, Arlene. I'm not even part of this party. Oh, shit. Damn spider. Oh! He's a glowing spider. There's not a whole lot of place to run in this area. I got a rad remover, you little bastard. Oh, shit. Oh, that was kind of intense. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Well, we got the job done. Let's put these on. And let's take one of these. And I remembered. So if you guys bet that I would remember, you win the prize. Don't ask me what the prize is. I have no idea, but you win it. Oh, that scared the hell out of me. Let's do this first, just because we're on the clock with that. I can't, well, we got five minutes, so it doesn't really matter, but we'll do this first. We'll do the good one first. <clears throat> Excuse me. Vehicle book. Fantastic. Ooh, time charge. Nice. Um, That... That's probably worth fixing up. Well, it's prob we probably should scrap it. Got some gold, too. So 
am Yo Nishin. There's something back here. Just a place for Zeke's to hide, I guess. Why is the light showing to go in here, though? I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's open these guys up. Traps, robotics, and tech junkie. Oh, I should have saved that for selling, but that's good. Robotic sledge quality one. All right, I guess that's it. Check this cupboard here. Some more pears. Okay, let's put these back on. Oh, yeah, look. Let me drop a few more things off. Oh, is there like a wandering horde around here? Or do we just have a lot of Zeeks around? I don't know. Don't bother me when I'm eating my lunch. It's rude. I'll perforate you. It's nice to have all this extra space now. Yeah, we're just going to scrap you. 33. I don't know, actually, if we would have if we would have fixed that all the way up, it might have been worth more as it as it was, but that's okay. Okay, let's get the gas and other stuff off these vehicles. What you got for us, Rick? Smells. You think you're pretty smart now, don't you? Here's your pay, uh, Einstein. Okay, we already have a green... Ooh, this would be actually nice. Quite a bit of an upgrade, I think. Yeah, quite a bit of an upgrade. Uh, we already have a purple lever action rifle. We already have a green military helmet. Exploding arrows we can make. So I think this is what we want. That's not a bad uh, upgrade there. Very cool. Um, I think we've checked. Yeah, we've already checked your inventory. Um, well, let's look at it again, actually. Do you see, does he have any vehicle magazines? I don't think he does. He's got another crucible. Wouldn't be a bad idea to get a couple forges going. Um, but I've got, you know, I've got a lot of money back at the base, so we have, uh, What's you don't today? buy something next this time. 33. I'll shoot you. So he's going to reset tomorrow. So if I w we wanted to get that, we would need to get it today. I don't think I will. Though. Excuse me, guys. I got to go to bed. I'm really tired. You know what? I want to get one of these, though, because they're cheap. And we might do kind of a semi-respec at some point. When I say semi-respec, I mean we would do a full respec, but... I would put everything back into agility and maybe change up some of the other points, but I don't know. We'll see. All right. Anyway, let's, um, watch yourself, stranger. I know some job fellas who break legs for coal. If you want work from me, we could try our tier four infested. <laughs> we'll probably get our ass kicked, but let's try it. There for? Let's give it a try and see what happens. But um, we are unfortunately out of time in this episode, guys. So um, and I'm super tired in real life. I got to go to bed. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. Excuse me. And then in tomorrow's episode, we will um, we'll, we'll go try our, our first Tier 4 Infested at the Serrano Residence. And yeah, that's going to be fun. We're going to have to be ultra, ultra careful uh, doing that. But, I mean, you know, 
I'm sure we can do it. We just, as long as we're ultra, ultra careful. So, guys, that is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.